in this video, we are going to go through how to create a graphical dashboard and assign it to an asset. So this is a water company with three wells as their assets. You can see them on the map here. When we go into dashboards, you can go into create and we can create a test well 1A. We want to select graphical. This is what will be brought into. To create this dashboard, hit edit over here, and now we can start dragging and dropping. So let's call this well 1A. And what we want is tank level. We want the gauge. So here, we can have a title, but I won't have a title here because this is a simple tank. Data input will be well 1, 1A. Let's see where the level is. Let's do well 1B tank level. So this will be well 1B tank level, let's say the max we know is 20 or 57, let's do a max of 70 and round to the two digits in addition to place, placing thresholds. So anything to five, let's do, let's do if it ever gets up to 60, mark it as red. If it ever gets below 50, mark it as purple and it'll change to purple and so on. So this is above. Anything above 10 will turn high and anything below above 20 there. Then you can also select the dashboard you want to link this to. So it can be tank metrics, any of these, and then the asset. The asset is 1B. So that's there. Now, let's do the same for here, where it is going to be 1B. The input's name is tank level. So let's type in tank level. There we go. And you can see it there. Again, you can set all the thresholds. So let's say anything above 50 will turn high or medium to match it. And then you can assign it to the dash and to the asset, well 1B. You can add arrows, you can make this bigger by making this larger and this larger. And then what you can also do is, let's put this in the front. Let's say there are three pumps. You can also copy and paste right on your, here, so this will copy and then paste like that. You can select delete on your pad or right here. And then you can also name this and put this into an input. So this will be pump one status. And you can show the value. So right now it's zero. Let's see if there's any other inputs where we want the pump mode. So it's on or off. So it's off right there. And you can say, if it's on, you can say critical and it'll turn red. You can also mark that to a dashboard. So this could be pump one or pump metrics. An asset will do one B. You can also have arrows where 
put them here. There we go. So you can tie these together like this. Then you can have a discrete bar graph where we will put the mode of pump one here. So we can even put this as pump one and it'll say when it was on or off. You can make that as big as you want and copy and paste that easily and quickly change this to pump mode two. Now, let's put that all there. And what if we want pump run status now? So we will say run status for pump one run status is here you can scale to see where it's the amount for each so you can scale it here again assign it to an asset and if you want you can put here and this is still with pump one so you can even label it and show the title there Let's see, anything else? Let's look at the inputs that we have. We have sensors, temp humidity sensor. Let's say that we want sensor. I'll delete this. You can have this as an input as well. Show the value of the sensor. So you can say sensor value here. You can also have threshold colors. You can show to two decimal places <clears throat> and then you can hit save and this will be your dashboard.